good, Aqua Force. Welcome back to the Watching with Queen channel. Yes, sir, we are back, man. How you guys feeling today? Y'all feeling good? Good! Man, I feel good, man. Today is Sunday, man. Praise God. You know what I'm saying? You got to praise God on every day, but you know what I'm saying? Sunday is God's day. So, you know, I'm just putting that out there. Anywho, as you guys can see, this do-rag is not really do-ragging the way it's supposed to do. You know, it's not supposed to do-rag like this. So, um, but right now, it kind of matches the shirt. So I'm just going to rock it for right now. You know what I'm saying? After I'm done with the videos, I'll probably take it off and put the new do-rag on. You feel me? Anywho, um, I just want to say I appreciate all of you guys for subscribing, man. We are at like 13,000 or 12,000 subscribers already. You know what I'm saying? On this new channel, man. And it's only been like, what, three days? You know, that that's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? That is a true blessing to have you guys. That will follow me wherever I go, man. Ser seriously. It really, really is. And Because I was bummed out about making a whole new channel. Because I was so used to being on that one. But I really feel like this is going to be a blessing in disguise. You know, it probably happened for... Not probably. It definitely happened for a reason. Uh, but new beginnings, new challenges, new goals. I have a whole new, like, different type of motivation now. Because of this new channel. So, you know, God was probably just putting me in a position to really... You know, I don't know. I guess you could say just give me a newfound motivation, you know. Um, so I'm very thankful for you guys. I love you, Aqua Force. Uh, I, love, I love you, Aqua Force. You guys know that, okay? And uh, if you don't know that already, I'm going to remind you again right now. I love you. For real. You guys are the best, man. So, anywho, we got Fresh and Fit Conquers the, at the Shade Room at Mainstream called Cancel Culture. Anyways, really what we're here for is because Asian Doll is a racist. Asian dog colorist tweets surface. Man, Asian doll. The same girl that y'all was sitting there talking about some, oh, we got to protect black women, but that, this, that, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. It appears she is also not for black people. And that is a damn shame. You know? Man. You would think that, you know, because of the fact that you're black, that you would respect your own race. You know? That's ironic, though, because this is not what y'all were saying about Fresh and Fit. Let's see what the hell's going on. Just extra out. I've seen this dude's videos, bro. He just be doing the extra out like intros. Let's let's get to the point here. See, it's a difference between brown brown skin girls. See, she can't even spell right. This girl's just retarded. Okay, I don't, bro. <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> oh my god. We just gonna skip over that for right now. It's the difference between brown skin and dark skin. Brown skin girls are pretty. Don't nobody want no African ass dark skin bitch. So you guys can see. Well, is that right, Asian doll? Hmm. Seems to me. You are a colorist. Seems to me that you're not really with all shades of our African queens. If I recall correctly, you were sitting there trying to push the agenda that you were the victim by sitting there getting a, a tweet and talking about some. I was glad. I was just so glad. And I'm so thankful to God for my growth. And I'm so glad that I was there to protect that black woman from fresh and fit. You know, I was so proud to protect a fellow black woman. That girl was darker than you. That girl was darker than you. So what you're saying right here. It's very contradicting, Asian doll. Very contradicting. Wow. Five to three. Seven days a week. There's a wet ass viewer. Make that pull out game a week. Wow. 
Wow. I I am appalled. I am appalled. I'm so appalled. Seems like your team fresh and fit. <laughs> I'm surprised. Why didn't you agree with him? Why didn't you agree with him when you guys when you were on there? Oh, they, they didn't even talk about it when you was on there. But I don't know why you you tweeting all this stuff. You should have just retweeted them talking about them the black girls and just and been like, hey, yeah, you know what? I agree because this shows that you are definitely on the same side as them. You have the same viewpoints. You have the same preferences, right? A dark skin equals a black ass bitch. Wow. Very strong words coming from a black woman that supposedly is pro-black. You should be ashamed of yourself, bitch. I'm going ahead and get my thumbnail. There's no way. Ass and pee Make that pull out again in a week. Yeah. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Crispy, dark skin. Dark skinned females be so sweet though. Yeah, what? Bro, this is this is ridiculous. We are all black people. Like the Let me just see, this is what I mean. Like, I don't know why you guys ever even thought that siding with someone as stupid as this would have been a good idea. I feel like that just shows how stupid you niggas are. Not uh you, Aqua Force. But any of the niggas that were sitting there defending her. Right away, when this is like, bro, you guys sit there and talk shit about this girl every damn time she's on the damn internet. Because she does and says stupid, idiotic shit. But the moment she sits there and claims that she's the victim and this and that, now all of a sudden it's, oh my God, protect the black woman. But you got this same black ass bitch that you guys were trying to protect. Talking about black people this way. So now what? I want to know what the excuse is now. Oh my God, it was from years ago. It was 2013. It doesn't matter. Y'all went and dig, dig, up, dig up what motherfucking Fresh and Fish said. Oh my God, because that was just very recent. No, 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 no. No. Okay. She said it. Are we going to cancel her too? Probably not. Why? Because it's probably not that big of a motherfucking deal, right? Exactly. So shut your motherfucking asses up. Shut up. What's poppin' everybody? You back rockin' with Easy Pants. And tonight, we going in. I'm gonna need y'all to get this channel to 100k, cause this channel is necessary to the culture. They try to say Asian dog was standing up for the rights of black women, but it's plain to see, cause I brought the receipts. What Asian dog said is worse than anything y'all try to put on the Fresh and Fit podcast. Fuck out of here. And the hypocrisy is at an all time high, y'all. So, another day, another hater. FNF defeats the shade room and the mainstream. And, and, and this black ass bitch, bro, this is the owner of the jail room. She don't know what the hell she is. She don't know what she is. She claims she's pro-black. Oh, my God. When she did the interview with 6 9 you know, my, my fan base is, you know, our audience is all black. So, you know, this is very offensive to the black community. Bitch, you, got, you air out black people on the daily. You air out black people on the and make them look bad and are in their business and exposing their private life and things that they should not have to deal with daily. 16, 18 times a day. And you, you're pro-black. I don't want to hear it, man. Black people are just, man, we got to do better for real. Seriously. I say this all the time. Black people are the only race that hates on each other. It's just like, there's so many black people in the community that are just confused. Y'all niggas don't know what you want to protect. From 
Box Monster is getting desperate and running out of supplies. Every head that grows is immediately chopped off. And today, the Jezebel spirit is alive and rejuvenated. Girls like Asian Doll are getting heavily promoted to mislead the youth. And who's doing the promoting? The top Jezebel herself, the Shade Room. Exactly! Pro black, but from what I can see, Jezebel herself, the Shade Room. She claims to be pro black, but from what I can see, they are anti black. Exactly! I just said that. That's crazy. Exactly. I'm glad that there's, there's, there's smart people out there that can see that. Because it's just like, what the. <laughs> if anything, 6ix9ine is more, more for black people than you are. I truly believe that. We also got this news fest, Top Trick and Side Chick. They still don't got no content, so they waste bait for views now and begging the public to cancel F and F. It's getting pathetic. Then we got Young Jock, known for rocking dresses and perm. Oh man, he's been recruited and activated too, and he's on a mission to cancel Fresh and Fit. What? But we ready for all the smoke. Let's get to the video. But before we do that, take this time. This nigga was walking around in a dress, bro. Hey, man, the most random story ever, man. I was supposed to do a radio show when I was in Atlanta, like, not too long ago, like, early, maybe late 2021. And I was out there, and I get to the place where I'm about to do the radio show. It's, like, right in front of Georgia State, I believe. Or, yeah. I get there, and this nigga Young Jock is standing outside, just talking to every motherfucker that walks by. Like, he's just the neighborhood hero or something. Okay. And I know he's right, probably really well known in, in, in Atlanta. But we and him were just talking for like 20 minutes. And he was just like, yeah, man. Talking to, talk to me about how bitches he was fucking and shit. And this girl that was giving him hay was going crazy and all this shit. <laughs> and then this brolic ass light skin girl walks by. I'm talking about this girl just like she was built like. You know, like a female wrestler. You know what I'm saying? She walks by. And I promise you, if me, fellas, if me and you was kicking in a room, like imagine you kicking with the homies and all that, right? And you see a girl that walks by. N most of y'all are going to see the same thing in terms of what looks like a baddie and what it doesn't, right? I promise you, if you were standing next to me and Young Jack, you would not have thought this girl was a baddie, Okay. But it's Young Jack, and I just met the nigga. I'm an up and coming comedian. So I was like, all right, let me just hear what he has to say. Nigga starts talking about some, oh my God, she got the, ooh, she got those boy arms. She got those boy arms. I'll grab the boy arms just like this, and I just, I was like, whoa, what? You lost me. Because we were just talking about how girls get good head and all this. Now you're talking about a girl who got boy arms and you're attracted to that? And you want to take those boy arms and. I was like, yeah, yeah, Young Jock is for sure gay. <clears throat> oh, man, man, oh, man. Well, let's see what this nigga, if there's anything. Oh, like, you know, no, like, like, most black girls are, like, annoying, how to put this, uh, ratchet, and they don't know how to, like, get your nerves. You're, like, the complete opposite. You are not yeah, Fresh is tripping right there, bro. Fresh, you know I love you, fool, but you 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 tweaking out, bro. <laughs> you tweaking out, bro. Like that's bro, that's that's the type of shit that we get in high school growing up all the time. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Most black people are like this, but you're like this, so you're cool. Like what? You hear that type of shit from white people, and you're saying that to a black girl. Come on, fresh. You can have a preference, fool, but you ain't got to put down the women, the black women, man. But see, what the crazy thing is, you guys are saying all that. While that is true, you got Asian, doll doing the same shit. That is crazy, man. The irony. Well, that's it for this video, man. Make sure you guys hit like and make sure you guys subscribe.